Good day, this is Jim, and uh, it's slop in the shop time. We got some more purchases and items, obviously, what these videos are about, and odd and end things. So uh, let's mix up all this slop, go out and feed the pig, and you enjoy the video. Today's slop in the shop, I'm going to do another quick opening to go with my slop in the shop openings. Today's slop in the shop is going to see some purchases I made yesterday. It was actually Friday at the auto fair that I met Tom over at Hilltop Machine. Bozo struck this even before we got started because my bozo was forget to bring the GoPro. So he's got all the video over on his site soon enough of us at the uh, auto fair. I'm just going to show you the goodies in this slop in the shop. Thank you. I'm going to kind of unbox these items one at a time and make short clips. This is a cutoff wheel and it's supposed to be American made steel cutoff wheel. So uh, I use a chop saw sometimes to cut tools down. I think this was like two to three, it was four or five dollars. It was really, really reasonable. So I needed one because mine is chipped. So that's the cutoff wheel come from one of the vendors. This is a tool tray. I'm going to work in my toolbox some and reorganize it. This is $5 and I really like it because it's a tool gripper and holds 16 wrenches. And I can probably lay it in my box and get a little... I've got some many wrenches scattered around in my box. I really need to kind of work this up in my main wrench drawer. So that's what that's for. Okay, now I'm going to move over to the center of the camera there. There's a set of stamps. Another imports and... Uh, but I don't have any real good size number stamps so these are fairly good size and uh, I don't know if they'll fit in my guide or not but basically I give $12 for this one and four so I got $18 in a full set of number stamps and letter stamps and a pretty good size the ones I have is just really really small so that's that I bought another drill guide it's probably an import but the reason I want this drill guide is I'm going to use this drill guide to make a tool uh, I'm going to take this drill guide and make one of these racks for my drills that I have here in the shop the ones I'm resharpening and have me a portable one so maybe a set on a workbench or something so that's what and this was like two bucks or something and it wasn't that bad a couple of uh, polish and sanding things again to go in the, into the that's going to go in my uh, polish and sanding tool and a little thing of screws and bolts and washers and and all so the zinc plated so they're basically everything from six up to a quarter twenty screws and they come in this little stuff like this comes in great handy a spring-loaded center punch and a quarter inch combination drill tap. This particular one I wanted two, the vendor only had one. So all these items that I just showed it come from the I bought at the auto fair. Now we'll get the flea market stuff out. Uh, this is a, a, a one of these grinders that's on a shaft. And I seen this at a yard sale today, very last stop. Uh, the man wanted $35 for it, and I gave him $20. it has got a couple little issues that need to be addressed that I'm going to have to address here a little bit to it. And the, uh, it's mainly in the wiring department, and don't even have a good switch system on it. So we're going to have to kind of address those two items to make this really useful but it works powers up and runs I just run it a minute ago I give twenty dollars for it so I'm gonna tape up what I need to tape up here just in a second the last purchase here is these two silverware trays again these things can go in a toolbox and be a storage system and they're really handy and you know these are rubber maids which are pretty good and they're soft they're flexible and usually these will run in like Walmart, six, seven dollars a piece. I know they're a little dirty, but they're going in one of my toolboxes. So I give a grand whopping total of a buck for them. So 
that almost is everything. I got the forgot one thing from the auto fair, and I just seen it laying over here. Piece of loom. Now, in case anybody don't realize, we live in NASCAR country. And there's metal suppliers that usually work for racing teams and hot rod shops such as that. One of the um, metal suppliers is, it, 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 is it close to Morrisville in Denver, and they call themselves uh, Stock Car Steel. And uh, they had a booth, uh, you know, not a booth, but they had a place at the, at the auto fair this year. And uh, we walked by and they had some drops and scraps and stuff that was handy. So we stopped and chatted with them a little bit and uh, I spied this one inch piece of aluminum and I picked it up. I gave him $4 for it and that's really, really a good price. So that puts more stock, aluminum stock in the stock mill. Also today, we done some yard selling. And my madam loves to go to yard sales because she says to try to find treasure. Sometimes you just get lucky. This blue shelf right here you see is going to go up above my window in my shop. Uh, I've been wanting to put a shelf there and I can get one for this as a yard sale item. Basically a buck and a half. I can't even buy the materials for that. Yeah, it's an odd funky blue, but who cares? So I'm going to go ahead and get it put up, and then we're going to move on to the other items in the, that we got to show you today. How well you can see this, uh, and I don't know where to even get into video, because it's right up behind my lights and it kind of washes out, but there's where the shelf's going to reside. This is a set of carbide burrs I just got today in from Banggood. Uh, this was a quite reasonably priced set being carbide, and we're going to try them out. So. This will go in one of the slop in the shop's laces. Perfect. Okay, try this again. I forgot to turn the mic on. Uh, if any of my viewers are listed, interested, I'm just uh, showing this ad for trappers. If any of them are interested in purchasing one of these trappers tool, has a sale running right now on the Lillius Machinery Handbook at $73.99 or basically $74. These books are usually around over 100. I think the list they're saying is 105 here, so for the newest version. So uh, thought I'd throw that in. I hope you enjoyed Slop in the Shop. I will remind you that these videos are copyrighted production of James Deadman Sawlogs Plastic Hubs, and I for your personal entertainment. I hope you enjoyed what we fed the pig today and uh, we'll see you on the next video.